Hello and welcome to Postman tutorial. In this tutorial, we will look into different CRUD operations using the real world API, which is Asana API, and we'll understand how you can post or how you can use the post method to create any record using the Asana post API. So we have used the similar API in the SOAP UI tutorial as well. So in Postman, we'll use Asana, same Asana API to go ahead and explain the concepts of web service testing. So before we get started, what we'll do is we'll create a new collection and name it as Asana uh, Demo. And then we'll just, what we'll say is we'll update the authorization record here. So as you understand, that in order to hit any of these public APIs, be it, you know, like a Facebook or Google or Asana, if you go to the documentation, so let's go to the documentation of Asana first and I'll explain you why we need the authorization here. So here I am at the Asana developers uh, overview page, right? So here you will see that we'll need the authorization or the token which is the OAuth2 token to get into, to actually hit the service and start working with the service. So OAuth2 will require the applications designed to access the Asana API on behalf of multiple user impl uh, users implement OAuth2. And you need to create your personal access token, which will be able which will allow you to access these APIs and this is all I have covered in the previous tutorial in the tutorial that uh, that I covered with SOAP UI so how you will be able to create your uh, Asana developer account or Asana account you can simply go to the Asana website and create a free trial uh, using your public email like Gmail or Yahoo you can sign up and if you have the domain or the company domain for example i have um, rcvacademy.com then you can change this to a company or the organization account for free as well but if you don't then there will be you'll still be able to sign up but you'll you won't be able to do a lot of um, functions like creating a team or creating you know like a new workspace so that won't be possible but you still be able to sign up and use asana so as i have already signed up and i have converted my account to the organization account so this is how it will look like so you can see rcvacademy.com and that is why i'll be able to create the teams uh, different teams and then projects below those teams so this is how the uh, web interface of asana will look like and what we'll be doing as part of this tutorial series is that we'll be creating the new team okay and we below the team will be creating the project so for this post tutorial we'll be creating a new project below these two team okay below these uh, one of these two teams so, so for example our CV academy team to create a project from a ui you will just simply click on plus sign and then you can use a template or import a spreadsheet or create a blank project okay so create a blank project i'll say test prod just name and default view i'll say board and then previously public to rcv academy team and click on create project right and now you'll see test project has been created successfully and you can see it on the board here on this interface now same thing we are going to do with the api so that's the whole purpose of api that you don't need to rely on the ui to test each and everything if you are testing through the api you are expediting your test cases uh, or the amount of time you are spending to run those test cases as well as you are doing more shift left testing so we'll be creating a new project in the one of the teams now let's get back to postman now here in postman what we'll do is because we are going to test the api which will be uh, structured or uh, organized in a 
particular folder or collection we'll create a new collection and name it as asana testing because we want to make sure that all the requests that we are going to test we put into a collection asana because all of them are the asana apis and throughout this tutorial we'll create the collection and structure them properly so i'll just create a collection asana test demo and then once you create a collection the good thing about the collection is that you can specify the authorization details in the collection as well and you can select the type of authorization say for example asana will require oauth2 token i'll select type oauth2.0 because we'll be creating personal access token so if you sign up you can go to developers account and create a personal access token i've already created personal access token i'll come i'll copy that and paste it here in the access token section here so once i configure the personal access token in the collection then the whole all the requests in this collection can inherit this authorization from the parent from the uh, collection itself and we don't have to go ahead and specify this authorization for each and every request that we create in this collection so if you don't provide this access token detail or uh, the personal access token here you can still go ahead and provide it e in each request that you are going to trigger but that's not advisable if the, you are dealing with the similar auth with all of the apis so you can always define it at the collection level so let me quickly put my access token here and create this collection so i'll hit create and here you can see asana test demo collection has been created and there are zero requests in this collection now in order to hit the post request what we'll use is we'll try to create a new project in any of the team as we saw in the ui so let's go to the uh, to the developers page and see how you can create a project so we'll search for the project and on the project section we'll refer to the post project which is basically to create a new project in the workspace or team so we need this endpoint so you can use the projects and you will need a body parameter to create a project you need to provide the workspace id and the team id so before let's copy this one the, to create the project and we'll go to this collection and click on add request we'll say pro paste the link and then we'll, it will be the get request as part of the asana test demo collection and i'll click on save right now in this asana collection you will see this request and we'll put the url and rename the description so we'll say uh, create new project right and click on so this because this is the post request you need to change it to post and then we need to populate the body and in body we need the raw format and choose the format as json because if you see the documentation that's the body parameter we need to pass so we'll just copy the body parameter come back to the body section of postman and paste the details here okay so we'll say rcv um, postman project okay just to make sure that this is the postman project and we'll say for tracking bugs and now before we can send this request we need the workspace id and the team id because these are the dummy ids that are present there so we need to find out the workspace id where we want to create this project and the team in which we want to create the project or associate this project with so uh, apart from this if we go to authorization you can see here that this is already say said as inherit auth from parent so this will inherit the authorization details that we have provided in the asana test demo if you don't provide the authorization detail at the collection level you have to come back here 
select the authorization that you are required in order to hit that particular request and provide the details here in this section okay so for example it requires the basic auth you select basic auth and provide the username and password if it requires oauth1 you provide the details here and our case we need oauth2 so it will take the details from the parent now other thing to note here is that if we hit this particular post request if we send it then we'll get an error saying workspace not a recognized id because the workspace in the body is just a dummy workspace so what we need to do is we need to find workspace id and the team gid in order to create a project so let's look for the request for with which we can get the workspace id and the team id and also add those into asana test demo so before that what we'll do is we'll just change the, this is already changed to the method post we'll simply save it so that you can see the post create new project request has been saved now we'll add another request to get workspace and team id so we can use those workspace and team id into creating a project so we'll click on add request and let's get back to the documentation and see the workspace get so we'll go to workspaces and we'll say get workspaces what is the request here we'll just get the endpoint to get the workspaces and you can see the parameters which are uh, required here you can use these are not mandatory ones so we'll just copy the endpoint and we'll say get the name so get workspace and we'll just leave the collection to asana test demo and save and now there are two requests so we'll go to get workspaces enter the endpoint that we got and in the authorization it's by default inheriting auth from parent we'll just send this request and it should return us the workspace id right so you can see the gid we have already got we'll copy this gid we'll go to create new project and now we have got the workspace gid now the next thing we need is team gid so we'll go to the documentation again and we'll say team in the search and we'll go to the teams and now if you look into details here there are a couple of get requests supported so um, get the team by the team gid or get the teams that are present in the workspace okay so we'll use the second one because now we know the workspace id and we'll use that workspace id to get all the teams in that particular workspace so we'll go to this particular request and we'll say copy this request and we need to pass the workspace gid here in the resource so we'll go to the postman again create a new request add request and we'll say get teams in workspace save it and open the, the request and we'll provide the workspace gid here so we'll get the workspace gid from this get request so we'll just copy this workspace gid go to the workspace or the teams and paste the workspace id here and send this request now i should get the teams below this workspace so now you can see there are two teams rcv it team and rcv academy team with the gids that have been returned okay which is in line with the ui or the interface that we have seen so you can see rcv it team um, and rcv academy team has been returned okay so rcv it team and rcv academy team with the gids that we are looking for and now you need that team id below which you want to create a project so for example i want to create a project below rcv academy team i will pick this gid copy it and open create new project request paste that gid here and now if i hit this particular request with the name of the project as rcv postman project and notes for tracking bugs 
it should create this project successfully and I shouldn't be getting any errors now because these are the workspace and team IDs that are, that are existing in the workspace Asana workspace and the teams are already existing for me so now let's hit this post request and see the response so click on send and once you get the response it will return all the data for the project that has been created so let me change the view here to two pane view and here you can see that this is the request with raw format and JSON and then this is again the response 201 created which is the successful message the time it took to create a project and the size of the response so you can see the data has been provided with the project um, type as the project the GID the new GID for the new project and all the other details that have been used to create the project so name of the project is RCV postman project and notes is for tracking bugs and then it has also took the workspace and the team under which it has created this particular project and there are other details that have been sent as a response when this project has been created and it is pretty formatted and the format is JSON so that's the first post request in postman now before we wrap up this tutorial I'll also try to cover that once you have say once you have done all these post requests what you'll do is we'll just simply go ahead and save so that we don't lose our work so the red dot that you see that means we haven't saved any of these requests we'll go ahead and click on save now we'll go to the UI and see the project has been created successfully so here we'll just refresh and you can see our CV postman project has been created successfully and is visible on the UI of Asana homepage so that's pretty much all about the first post request in postman hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching